We are live. Yay. I had to check because yesterday it wasn't for like two minutes. Are you guys excited? You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Darlene, Lisa, Amanda, Kathy Ann, Leslie, Sonia, Margarita, Mary Jane, Sonia, Patricia, Erica, Kath Catherine, Jean, SD, Terry, Millie, Wendy, Eva, Heather, Carrie, Diane, Patricia, Linda, Diane, Kiona, Jennifer, Vivian, Kimberly, Deborah, Becky, Patricia, Bonnie, Stephanie, Trish, Jerry, Kathy, Becky, Heather, D, Patricia, Sherry, Cheryl, Kathleen, Michelle, Tammy, and Marilyn. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Good morning. Welcome everybody. So uh, this morning I discovered how to use infusible ink on the aluminum sheets by Cricut. They said they would work on them. I think I tried before and it didn't work and some other people had problems. They couldn't get it to work. Well, I tried it this morning, couldn't get it to work. And then I flipped it over and figured it out and tried it again and again to do some tests. Uh, but first, I want to say thank you to Jeannie Tinsley. Let's go over here. Let's just give a shout out to all these people that came before the video today. You guys come early and just talk and chat, and I really appreciate it. I love seeing my community here um, making friendships through this. So thank you to everybody. Thank you for asking everybody to do the thumbs up. Thank you, Jeannie Tinsley. That was very generous of you. She's even a Patreon member, just like the people I did in the shout outs. They're Patreon members at certain levels. And um, for everybody who supports me on Patreon for $2 or more, they get hundreds and hundreds of my design space projects that I do in all these videos today. There's no file. I'm not using my Cricut. You don't have to use your Cricut for infusible ink. Now, if you wanna cut certain things out in certain shapes, Cricut is very helpful. But today, we're just going to teach you how to do it on the infusible, not the infusible, how to do the infusible ink on the aluminum sheets sold by Cricut. And you can engrave them too. I haven't tried that yet. But I'm thinking you should do the infusible ink first and then engrave, and then the engraving would be silver. So we're gonna try a few different things. I'm gonna show you what I've done. Do you see it on here? Can you see the infusible ink? There is infusible ink on here. This, I did it twice. You can't see it. I can see it. Let me show you where it's at, let me see. You can see my fingerprints all over it. It's on one, oh, I think it's this edge, a stripe. Mm -hmm. No, it's really hard to see. And I thought, I know this is supposed to work. How do you do it? There's no directions. Couldn't find directions anywhere for it. Um, so then I flipped it over and then there's that. So this is my test sheet. So this piece was this one. I had already used this exact piece on this side twice. I just put it on the edge. I did it twice. It didn't work. I'm like, oh, maybe I will flip it over. And then that's when I got this. I thought, oh, it's still not good. Uh, I did look up a video from 2011 of doing uh, stuff like this on 
metal and they did it for a minute and in my head i had a thought a hundred seconds so i'm like i just did a hundred seconds and it turned the brown but the same piece was already used twice didn't show up but it did take a little bit away and this is supposed to be black like this one so then i tried this one was this sheet so it did work so what i did is i did a 200 seconds 400 degrees and it worked i was so excited and i put a lot of pressure maybe thinking that would help and then i did this piece this is like a yellow orange rainbow this is actually all the same sheet it's just different parts of the sheet uh i put that on there and let me i lost your chat there we go um so i put that on there and I put lots of pressure on it because it's a lighter color and I really wanted to get it in there. And then right over this part, the infusible ink paper stuck to it. Like I couldn't even scrape it off. I'm like, oh. And I let it cool. On this one, the black one, and this one I let it cool. This top one, I did not let it cool. Like I don't touch this while it's hot. But um I, I used my extra long nails that really need to be done and flipped it over and it was brown. It could be brown because I used it twice already. But um, then I had this problem with it stuck. I couldn't scrape it off. I'm like, oh no, I might have put too much pressure. So don't put a lot of pressure. And the paper did come off only when I used a baby wipe. So I used a baby wipe. It wouldn't come off dry. It had to be wet. Um, Sonia is asking, what do you use on the metal? I used infusible ink. Um, so then I just tested this one right before the video and I did 200 seconds, 400 degrees, and I didn't do a lot of pressure and I let it cool. And I think it did awesome. I think that's so cool. And so I wanted to overlap this a little bit so you guys can see if you're putting it, this is why they have white shirts because if you put it on a colored shirt, it's gonna change because this is ink, it's transparent. And I'll have to say, I used the baby wipe on it and it didn't take any of the ink off. It stayed. And then you can engrave these. <clears throat> so isn't that cool? Okay, now I have to show you what side works best. And I'm not sure, like I know what side, I'm not sure you can see. Okay. The Cricut Metal comes with this yellow on it. And it also comes with a clear side. Even though you can't see this, do not iron on this plastic, okay? that's plastic, it would melt. So make sure you take that off. Okay, I got the wrong questions up because all I'm seeing is they have fantastic weekend. I need to close my tabs. Okay, let me see if there's any questions so far. Oh, no, oh my gosh, how many chat boxes do I have open? Oh, it's because I put it over here on this other side of the computer when I showed you. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, okay, I'm just glancing through. Um, yeah, you can use infusible ink on the sheets, but you have to do the correct side. Okay. Um, so what I think I noticed is, okay, I had to get a brand new one and look at it very closely. It's the, my guy keeps wanting to turn off. It's the clear side that I put the ink on. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to do it. So I'm going to show you. Um, but there's. I want to try to show you so the yellow side is the wrong side and I don't know if you can see the difference like one side 
is more stripy. Like, it's really hard to see. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pull back that a little more. And this side is not stripy. Like, it's, let me see, no light. So there's one side, that's the correct side with the clear on it. And this side is, see how the glare down here at the bottom, you can see stripes. It's kind of more vertical or horizontal, depending on how you turn it. It's more stripes. That's the wrong side. And well, let me put this down here in the light, just like the other one. I can, you can actually see the, my computer better. The reflection is better that way than it is this way. Hopefully you can see the difference. It's hard to tell, but when you get them, look at the difference before you completely peel off these edges. So you can see the difference because once you get it off and you can't tell the difference, it will be hard for you. Thank you, Jill. So um, make sure you get it on the right side or it doesn't work. <sighs> Um, it's one side texture. They do feel a little bit different. Thanks for bringing that up. One side is not really textured, but one side is smoother. So this clear side, it does feel smoother. Almost feels like it has a coating on it. It does feel smoother. And this, the yellow side just doesn't feel as nice. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. It is a little smoother on this side. So this is the side you want to put the infusibly ink touching. I did it upside down. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure why it's lagging. Um, so are you guys ready to try it? Uh, I thought maybe we'll do two of them and one we'll do in the flower. One, because I've been dying to do this one. I love this one. I only have four boxes of it. I'm a little addicted. Yes, Fatima, I think you can, I haven't tried it, but yeah, I think you can put the infusible ink on it and then engrave it, I think. That's what I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to engrave today, but. Glenda's asking, is that the same side we're supposed to engrave on? I don't know. Is there, it, I don't know. I assume so. It's the side I'm gonna engrave on. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, oh, and I wanted to show you the sizes that the metal comes in. This is, I think it's eight by eight, four by four, yep. And what's this one? Can you guess? It looks like five by seven. So you can buy them in five by seven, eight by eight, or four by four. Now, I just had a thought earlier. I want to do one of these and use my rainbow uh, infusible ink and cover the whole thing. And I think you'd need the nine by nine. Today we're using just the small six by seven. Uh, the nine by nine on here, and then engrave. Uh, that song somewhere over the rainbow or uh, why are there so many songs about rainbows? You know, the one by Kermit the Frog. Uh, to put the words to that on this and you could put it in a frame or you could put it in a shadow box or something like that. That would be beautiful. Just look at the colors. I mean, this is ugly. <laughs> but if you can imagine, you know, one sheet of these colors, that would just be so pretty. Okay. So what we're do what we need is the mat, the Cricut Easy Press mat. I'm putting paper over it. Would you like to see my paper from before? This was my test paper. 
I got all kinds of infusible ink on it because I was doing different sections of it and it wasn't protected and it burns a little bit. It's okay. Then you also need butcher paper. This is my butcher paper and it has ink on it. So I'm not going to use that one. We're going to get a fresh one. Now every box of transfer sheet you get has for every transfer sheet, you get a piece of butcher paper. And, oh, let me show you guys this. If you haven't seen this, all the new pens, you could probably do this with the pens too and draw on it and put your artwork on metal. So um, these are all the colors of the infusible ink pens. These are all the colors that comes in. And I made a sheet I'm them on a piece of t-shirt. I cut up a, a Cricut t-shirt, that one t-shirt that had many designs on that, you know, was tested and stuff. But I wanted to show you. They turn out different. Like, look at this neon orange. This is how it looks on paper, but then when you iron it on, it looks like this. And these reds and pinks are so much prettier after they're ironed on. So if you draw or have your Cricut draw with these pens and it's not so pretty, Iron it on, it gets prettier. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna do first? I'm gonna do the, okay. So I'm taking this clear piece off. So we wanna put it on this side. I'm going to leave that on for a minute. So I'm not even using a Cricut. I'm just going to cut this with scissors and cut it bigger than the square. I think that, why not? Do we have any questions? sizing purposes. I'm going to put this here. I've never tried to do it with infusible ink actually bigger than the square because I was just doing the test sheet. I also had an idea because actually this morning I didn't even know what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to play with the ink. And so I have lots of coasters, so I was gonna do some coasters. I'm like, I could even do a video without using the Cricut and just cut solid colors of like the rainbow and put over the coaster to show you don't have to have a cutting machine. So if you didn't have a cutting machine, you could still use infusible ink. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this up like that. We're going to put the smoother side without the lines down on top of it. Now the butcher paper that I'm going to use will not be usable again. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because where I'm putting it, there's no ink in that center area there. So I think it'll be okay. That way I won't waste another whole sheet. So we're putting this yeah i did it right just double checking putting this the good side down on top of the ink we're laying it there don't turn off whoops don't want that to melt and then i'm going to put this here like that i have my easy press set to 400 degrees in 200 seconds. Making sure. I'm just going to press down just a little bit. There is a link to the metal and infusible ink 
down below in the video. If Please ask a question if there was buffering when I was talking. Let me know if I missed anything, if you missed anything. No, do not keep the yellow covering on it because it will melt. It's just plastic. Yeah, Cricut sells the metal sheets. They sell it for engraving, but it works for infusible ink too. Yes, all the new infusible ink pens are out. They've been out for a few weeks or a week, maybe. I don't remember. Sherry says, so do you do infusible ink first and then engrave? I think that's what I would do. The reason I would do that is because how infusible ink works is when you heat it up like this, it turns it into a gas and then it goes into the metal or the shirt or the coaster and when it cools it turns into a solid well i think if it turns into a gas it's going to get inside the engraving and maybe make it not as so you can't see it as well i could be totally wrong it might make it darker i'll have to do some testing but for me i think i would do engraving afterwards and then it would engrave off the infusible ink, I think, and be silver. That's my thinking. I got 69 seconds. My Sammy says refresh to stop buffering. Thirty two seconds. And to to go up to the live, you can hit the Ronald says hit the lowercase l button maybe control an l i don't know and it makes you go live okay i'm gonna let this cool I don't know why it's buffering. I just did a speed test while this is cooling. <clears throat> now remember, this is really hot. We had it 400 degrees. Uh, Judy's asking, do we need to use more ink than the size of the shape? I didn't on these. I mean, I, I was just testing to see if it worked. I wasn't trying to make this pretty or anything. But this would, if you cut different size shapes and put them on here, did them. Now I did this one. Actually, I did this first, then this one. And then I put this yellow and orange one over top of these. And then I did this one over top of that one.
Oh yeah, Lynn bought me a fan to help me cool it down. I don't have it right here. This makes a great fan. Okay guys, you gotta do the thumbs up. People are really wanting you to thumbs up the video. That helps YouTube know you like my videos. Are you guys excited to see the results? <laughs> Joan is so funny. I don't know how long you have to let it cool either. I just usually went to Facebook and answered a few questions while it was cooling. Oh, then maybe it's the J to fast forward to the live. Okay, let's see your thumbs up if you want to see this video, if you want to see the results. Raise your hands. Give me an emoji. And if you are a member of the channel, give me a melody emoji if you want to see it. Oh, and while we're cooling, did you all enter my giveaway? I'm giving away $495 worth of infusible ink on this YouTube channel. And it's so easy to enter. So it's, um, you have until, I don't remember, uh, Thursday the 24th to enter. And uh, it's not hard to enter. It's the video Cricut Tip saving money and winning prizes so if you haven't seen that video also if you're ever feeling down and depressed go read the comments because last i looked there were over a thousand comments and they were amazing comments you got i have such a great community you guys are amazing so thank you so much for commenting and entering that giveaway for 495 dollars worth of infusible ink so good luck on that and go read the comments and give them a thumbs up for all the comments you like because the winner of the most likes also wins a prize okay are we ready do you guys want to see it There's Kobe, <laughs> the emoji. Woohoo! Look at that, it's so pretty. <gasps> wow, is it still hot? It's still warm, but I can touch it. Isn't that cool? So I really didn't use much pressure in this at all. I did do it for 400 degrees for 200 seconds. It might work with less seconds. I didn't really push it to do less. That is so cool. And it doesn't come off. Let's look at it in this camera. Isn't that cool? Now, I could go over this with a color, like the rainbow colors and stuff. But isn't that, that, that is so cool. I like it. I just keep staring at it, and you guys are just watching me stare at it. Sorry. There it is, really up close.
Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Carol says, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, now I officially like infusible ink. Yes, it's waterproof. All the infusible ink stuff is waterproof, except for the sheets. You have to press them and then they're waterproof. They're the completely waterproof. This is completely waterproof. I could spill something on it. I could stain it, but I could wash this, throw it through, through the washer. It's completely waterproof. The coasters, here's some coasters I did. This is with a pen, not a pen, some infusible ink pens. I did my Bitmoji. Tesla logo with carbon fiber infusible ink. Aren't they cool? Um, should we do another one? Do you want me to do one more? I'm ready to see the engraving now. Um, let's do, let's do this one. We'll put rainbow on it real fast. I'm going to need new paper. Hold on. Mm Okay. Um, oh, and the shirt I have, this is infusible ink on glitter. And then this is the Mosaic Iron On by Cricut. Let me see if I have rainbow. This is the rainbow one I'm using. Well, this is another short sheet. Because I like that rainbow. And the Cricut Easy Press turns off after 10 minutes. So I'm going to open a new box of the rainbow. not been any night bot in here has there where's night bot if he shows up. Thank you, Amanda. There's Nightbot. Yes, it's a cotton shirt. Infusible ink does not work on cotton, but I put white glitter vinyl iron on. Remind me to take the plastic off. So I'm cutting this. Not very straight. Head. 
Okay, we're going to take the plastic off. So I just kind of rubbed it the corner with my finger. So this is the side we want to put it on. But we have to take off this yellow one also. Otherwise, there's probably going to be some melting going on. Yeah, you can feel it a little bit different. Let me see. I'm not, I think. Oh, now I don't know which side I did. This side is the good side. And I could tape this down with my heat, Cricut heat resistant tape. I'm going to cut this off so I can save this other extra piece. And I'm cutting with scissors with my left hand, and I'm not left-handed. That was awkward. Okay. We're going to use a new piece of butcher. Paper. And you know what? Let me do it this way. I think it'll be easier with this to go this way. And okay, I think we're good. Nope, we're not. We're over it down here. we're good do you have any questions uh, the engraving blanks cannot be cut by the maker this metal cannot be cut by any of the crickets Uh, would this work on sterling silver? I don't think so. I I don't I haven't tried it. I don't I haven't heard about that. I only heard it works on anodized aluminum. You cannot use infusible ink on wood. Ninety-three seconds. You could try it less time. I haven't tried less time. I did try the one hundred seconds on the first one, but I was doing it on the wrong side. So then I I just did two hundred seconds and it works and it doesn't hurt anything. So I thought I'm not going to keep testing it and not. It's not going to hurt it. So how thick are the blanks? They're not very thick. Like. Can you hear how thick it is? <laughs> like they're they're not thick. All I know is it works on this. There is a link to these engraving blanks in the description of this video on YouTube.
Yeah, if you have the original Easy Press, I'd put it as high as it goes and leave it on longer maybe. I haven't tested it. It would probably work. It might not be as bright. I'm not sure. Okay, that's our time. Ooh, it picked up with it that time. Now I gotta, let me flip it over. That's pretty. I'm not going to touch it because it's so hot. Do you guys really want to see it engraved today? While it's cooling, we could make a file to engrave it. Because engraving really doesn't take long at all. Let's go over to design space. Oh my gosh, chat's going crazy, guys. I love it when the chat goes crazy. Um, yes, engrave, please. Okay. I'm gonna What about dream big, little girl? Boy, Design Space has a lot. Ooh, a unicorn. We could put a unicorn on it. Design Space has a lot of rainbows. Look, Melody with the rainbow. Okay. Okay, first we need to... I'm just going to go up here to line type and I'm going to change this to engrave. And we have to size this. So to size it, that is a five by seven. So I'm going to make a square click. Where's the, oh, I have to click more because I have it so small. We're going to click the little lock. So it unlocks it. And we're gonna do the width at five. Actually, yeah, so we can see it. I'm gonna make the thing a little smaller. And seven, and we're gonna make this yellow, and we're gonna send it to the back. And I think that'll be a good size. That was easy. So I'm, I'm almost forgot how to do how we did this before. So we're going to click make it. And I'm going to move this down on the mat. To this side. We're going to move this to that mat. Move to another mat. We're going to move it to the yellow mat. And we're going to use this for uh, centering. So I'm going to look at this and kind of center it. I'm going to kind of look centered. Do you guys like this? 
Um, and then we're gonna take this. So I'm gonna line up my piece of metal on my mat. You know what, I'm not gonna do it here. I'm gonna move it down here one more. Just because I'm gonna tape it, I wanna make sure there's room. And that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to put the corner of my metal at this two by two spot. So just the top corner, two by two, line it up there and line it up on the two lines. And we're gonna hide this piece, hide selected. So all we're gonna do is engrave. Okay, let's go back over here. this to be the top of it. So we're going to line this up on the two and two, two and two. Remember that dating show? What was that? Two and two. What was that guy's name? He always said we'll be back in two and two. I'm going to use masking tape. I gotta move my chat over here now. <laughs> Chuck Willery, that's it. Two and two. What was the name of that show? When I was a kid, I loved that show. Okay. Yeah, you should always tape down anything you're engraving to the mat. So I'm, oh, I must have my engraving tip on one of these. Yes. This one has my engraving tip. Okay. Are you guys nervous? Okay, I'm going to move the camera up. You can see my messy desk. This blade out, put in my engraving blade. Push this in while I hit the load button and hit the go button. Oh, I forgot. I'm not ready. I didn't do it all. <laughs> so we are just engraving. We have the maker. I don't there. I don't know if there's aluminum in here or if it matters. I spell aluminum. A U. There it is. Anodized aluminum. These are aluminum sheets. They have a C for Cricut on here. So we're going to select that one. And it tells us to which blade to do. It went away because I already have my mat loaded. And hit go. I was just ahead of them. Oh. Raise your hand if you've never seen the engraving before. I have done videos on it. Love Connection, that's the name of the show. You guys are awesome. Oh my gosh, it's looking so good already.
Notice how fast it's going? This is gonna be done in no time. I've never actually engraved these sheets before or engraved on top of infusible ink. Are you guys excited to see the results? Oh yes, Jamie, thank you for bringing that up. These white rollers need to be moved before you cut chipboard or things with the knife blade or the acrylic engraving and all things like that. I just moved mine. So I forget to tell you guys, you need to have those moved. And I never move them back. It is beautiful. So cool. It does have little pieces of metal. I'm, I'm actually, you can see them over here. I'm just wiping them off. Should probably wipe them off with a baby wipe. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. I forgot I moved my... Okay. So I was just wiping it off like this and you can kind of see them over here a little bit. You'll be able to see them better when I take this off. It aligned it really good. It cut it like right where it was supposed to. So remember that little trick I did. You put the square in and then hide the square after you have it lined up. Well, no. Here, let me show you over here. It looks like it's showing up for me, but I'm it's in the camera. It says dream big little girl. Now, I don't know if the colors would be darker if you engraved it after you did the infusible ink. You know what I mean? Or if you did darker infusible ink, if you would see the engraving more. But I can see it. It's just hard to see in, on camera. If you try to do acrylic blanks and you don't move your white rollers, you could break them. You have to move those white rollers. I might try later, not right now, but I might try later engraving it first and then using infusible ink. Or I could have done is not engraving it. I could have cut this out um, out of a darker color of infusible ink too and press that on. Like I could cut letters out and put it on top of this too. So you could make something with the signs like, you know, I could do this with this on top of it too. That would be pretty too. Oh yeah, if I did a special marker for the engraving, you probably could do that too. Yeah, I haven't tried the ink on top of the engraving. 
All right, guys, I'm going to let you go now. It's been about an hour. I have to take Kobe to go get his shots today. And I will see you not tomorrow. Tomorrow we have a cricket club meeting and we're doing a mystery party. A mystery, it's called the Wacky Pumpkin Mystery Party. I'll try to share pictures tomorrow. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you Thursday night live, 8 p.m. on Thursday. And that's this week. And the next week, Thursday night live will be from my car while my son is driving and we're going to Gatlinburg. So it's just going to be a talky one where we can just talk. There won't be chatting or crafting. We can talk about crafting, but we're just going to chat with my son driving the Tesla to Gatlinburg. All right, guys. Love you, and I'll see you later. Bye.